All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Active FM, this is The Void Show making its way into grabbing your attention. Um, I'm so excited about today. Um, my name is Andrew Falazi and today I'm not alone in studio. But um, if you actually remember uh, last week, I had a privilege of being invited to one of the shows. And you know, uh, astronomy, philosophy, um, atheism, you name them. We spoke all about that. And so today I thought, why not make this a reversed interview? And so so I have a philosophically poetic, if not rhymes and poetry personality herself, Nolzili. Nolene, how are you doing? I am good. I mean, I am on the void. I could never be better right now, Angie. Thank you, you for having on me the on the void. show. Right? No, no, no. Welcome to the show. We are so excited and we really appreciate you being here. No problem. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Okay, so you know, um, last week you actually did crazy things when I was uh, in your show, and you know that's actually what I'm about to do before we speak about what we here for today. Yes. <laughs> so now uh, I'm gonna play some games with you, right? And these are just we want to know uh, your knowledge of the universe. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Yes, I mean, you are on the void, so uh, we are speaking the universe. <laughs> All right, cool. Last week, I mean, I thought uh, that stars were burning balls of fire, so this should be very interesting. <laughs> okay, so now, you know, the questions that I'm going to ask you, um, I think you probably have had them somewhere else, but then let's see if you can still remember. Let's see how, um, well, how exercised your memory is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, here is the first question. Now, you're going to choose, uh, you know, with, and, and if you get it wrong, at the end of this show, you're going to sing for us. What? <laughs> yes. This was not a part of the contract. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, yeah, it, it is part of the contract now. If you get it wrong, you sing for us at the end of the show, right? Uh, we'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here's the first question. Yes. What is Pluto? Now, options are Pluto is a planet, Pluto is a dead star, Pluto is a black hole, or Pluto is a dwarf planet. It's a dwarf planet. <laughs> wow. ha! Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That one was right. Um, a big cheer to you for that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, here's the second one. There are three of them, right? We're just bringing the energy here so that we can get on this topic. <laughs> yes. So the second one, why is the sky blue? Now the first option. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. The first option is because blue is just the best color in the world. Ah, it's my favorite color. <laughs> the second one is because the ocean reflects the blue color. So that's why we see the blue color. And the third one is it's because blue color is scattered more than all the other colors. Which blue, one is the it? The blue color is what? The, the last one is that the blue color is scattered more in the sky than all the other colors. I would love to say because blue is the best color in the world because that is my favorite <laughs> color. But I'm going to go with option number three. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, that's right. That's correct. Yes. That's correct. Now the last one, Nolene. <laughs> now, what is the approximate Earth's shape? Now, the first option is Earth's shape is flat. <laughs> the second one is it's round. And the third one is it's a sphere. Wow. Which one do you take? <laughs> <sighs> it's flat. It's round. The oh, earth is definitely fear. not flat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I mean, that's why you're in the void <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. I don't want to lose. <laughs> Can I go with the sphere? 
Of course, that's it. You are right. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, thank you. Thank you so much, Nolene. Um. Okay. Um. Nolene, let's first just you know get a bit of a download on your background. Now, I know that you are. Uh, I mean, you you hosted a show previously. It was uh, uh, rhymes and poetry, right? Yes. And now you are on philosophically poetic. Yes. And I I do know that you also involved in politics. I think that's what you're studying, right? Yes. And so for me, when I view all these things that you are doing, they are like uh, you know, it's like a stretch. So, <laughs> they, so <laughs> how how did all of them meet? I mean, poetry, philosophy, and politics. Okay, so I'm like into art. I don't know where the 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 other side i'm more into art so initially when i started rhymes and poetry it was called thou art because i wanted yes. to speak about all things art yes. but then i quickly was like no i don't think that's a good idea because then um i didn't like speaking about the other forms of art but also if i was speaking speaking about a painting or a drawing i couldn't show the viewers because they like listening so oh, i yeah, changed it yeah. into rhymes and poetry focusing more on poetry Poetry was a mechanism I used when I was younger. Um, in my non-talking to people days, I'd write down all uh. of my feelings. And wow. um, <laughs> that's where my poetry day started. Basically with philosophy and politics, it's a part of my major and something that I'm really passionate about because, yeah. Yeah, so that's basically how they all came together. <laughs> but you know, are you speaking about uh, you, you were you were writing things down, right? It was mechanisms for 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 what for you not talking, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, why was it important for you to write things down? I mean, what what happens when you're not writing things down? So, um, for me, I used it as a mechanism of communication. I don't know who I was communicating to because no one was reading it. It was just me. Um, but I used it as a means of expression and a means of release. Um, when you write stuff down, it's more than just conversations or ideas in your head. Um, once it's translated onto paper, you start actually yeah. um, seeing how... Uh, the thoughts in your head actually work. And I think it was one of the things that actually helped me start seeing that there was something wrong because I would mm. read the stuff often. and I'd be like, did I write that? That is so depressing. <laughs> that is so dark. Wow. But um, yeah, that's, it was basically a means of expression. Very important because then I yeah, was able to yeah. go back and read it and be like, if that's what's in my mind, then something needs to change. Hmm, wow. And of course, that is Nolene, I mean, philosophically poetic personality herself. Yeah. And you surely have seen what we're speaking about today. We are speaking about the rhymes of the universe. And, you know, right after this, we're going to be detailing more of what rhymes of the universe is. I mean, do we really have rhymes in the universe? So stick with sure. us. And right after this, we are coming. <laughs> I love Active FM. Christ music is hot music. Our music at Active FM is lit. Going up like a mention. I ain't got no reason. Everybody on the dance for now. Christ is the one we lift our hands for now. <laughs> You're tuned in to Active FM. And here we come again speaking about the rhymes of the universe. I mean, do we really have rhymes of the universe? Or does the universe rhyme itself in so many ways uh, within us? This is still The Void Show and make sure that you become part of this conversation. We are there on Facebook and our handle is at The Void Show with Andrew. I am not alone in studio, but I am with Nolene herself. Nolene, um, there's a name I, that I, 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 I think on Facebook, your name, there's Mabz. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about that. Do not expose me. <laughs> Mabz. Is that okay? Is that how you say it? <laughs> it's Mabz. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel terrible. <laughs> but now, I'll, I'll take that in. Next time someone asks me, I'll say Mabz. You'd say Mabz. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mabz. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, no, no. That's good. Um, so, Nolene, um, let's just get straight to business, right? 
Uh, yes. You know, when when I invited you, I just said, you know, uh, this is going to be an informal this is just an informal invitation to what we're going to be speaking about and we're going to be speaking about rhymes of the universe. Yes. Now, what's the first thing that came to your mind when I said rhymes of the universe? What's the first thing? Um, for me, I was honestly like trying to find things that rhyme with the universe because I was like, I'm, I'm really unsure of what's actually <laughs> going to happen in this show. So I, I was very unsure, but I was also like, hmm, that's interesting. Let's, let's see what this is about. <laughs> okay, no, 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 that's beautiful. Okay, so now here's the thing. People view the universe in so many ways, right? Yes. And um, some view it scientifically. I mean, some study it. Uh, you know, some view it philosophically. Some view it uh, 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 politically. I don't know if that's the case. <laughs> yes. But uh, how do you view the universe? Are you viewing it in some sort of a way maybe that you're expecting it, it, it has this supernatural power? Um, no, I, <laughs> I don't, I'm not one of those people who are like the cosmos. The universe is telling me <laughs> that I should go and eat a salad right now because of the cosmos. <laughs> so I'm not one of those people. Yeah. Um, for me, I don't really think about the universe unless when someone says it, then I'll think something poetic about it. But other <laughs> wow. than that, I don't see it as anything more than a creation of God. Wow. That's, that's, that's interesting. Yes. So, so. When when someone is asking you about the universe, so what what are you amazed by what you see in the universe? Um, definitely, definitely, I am. I mean, like <laughs> just the thoughts <laughs> of um the the detailing and the planning and the 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 the, the perfection that went into creating the universe. I mean, I, I yeah, I truly am amazed. You just mentioned that when you see the universe, you you don't really think about the universe, yes. right? <laughs> Unless someone asks you about the universe. Yes, correct. <laughs> so, so I, you know, I believe that uh, we have questions that we ask ourselves every day. Uh, I, I could be asking myself about the universe every day, but. Because, would you say because you are involved in the un, I mean the poetry, you are involved in philosophy, is that what you think about every day instead of thinking about the universe? I wouldn't say every day, um, but I, I don't really <laughs> like I think it's only for people who have a passion for it, I guess, to sit down and say, um, I wonder whatever about the universe. I don't know. I've never like sat down and been like, because I know there are philosophers in the past that looked up at the sky and they like started wondering about the universe and that's how they came up with all these theories and stuff. Definitely. But I don't think I've ever been one of those philosophers <laughs> that have just sat and just been like, you know, I wonder. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, okay. What is philosophy to you? Uh, philosophy to me is the love of wisdom. So in every branch, wisdom in every branch. So the philosophy of science, philosophy of um, love, the philosophy yes. of whatever it is. Just basically the love of wisdom of that subject. The the love of wisdom. Yes. So that that that's great. I think I think I love what you're saying. But now I I, I think I have to ask you this. Do you think that um. So when you say it's the, the, the love of wisdom, do you think, uh, do, you, uh, do you get taught wisdom or it's just one of the things that you are born with? Um, so for me, <laughs> do yes. you get taught wisdom? <laughs> so the word philosophy, actually the philos is love and um, the sophi is translated as yes. wisdom. That's why um, I said the love of wisdom because that's what the word actually put together means. Now, when we are learning in class, what they're teaching us for me yes. <laughs> is not so much <laughs> wisdom. When you learn in philosophy, yes. right? Yes. So I don't think that what we are taught is much wisdom, but I do think that all wisdom that we do have and that we can found, find is found in the Lord and he gives us wisdom because he's the one that has all yeah. wisdom. I mean, we can't out <laughs> wisdom God because I don't even know what we'd be trying to do. Okay. Okay. No, no, I, I definitely get you. So when we speak about the rhymes of the universe, no yes. mean. 
do you want to give me maybe uh if you think there are different rhymes of the universe maybe different perception that people see the universe in and really tell me your thoughts about those different perceptions if uh, what what just your opinion about people who view the universe uh, as this some sort of something having the supernatural power okay so um uh there are there are people that believe in the universe leading them and telling them stuff and they believe in the universe having a way of setting appointments of um putting things together for me um those people have taken their eyes off the creator and started worshiping the creation and um oh. so basically what i think about that is that um so as people we have this longing to want to know we have this longing to want to uh, figure stuff out and find out why do certain things happen this way and sometimes it's very hard for us to believe in a good god because then it's like then why is this and then why why is that and all of that stuff so yeah. it's easier for them to say the universe because even when bad things happen they can say oh the universe didn't want it to happen rather than wanting to believe in a good god that actually loves them and wants yeah. to have a relationship with them wow that's 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 great but let us speak about the the scientific viewing of the universe right yes and i want to bring uh, uh because uh, you know a lot of scientists themselves they say science is not faith based while religion is faith based right yes and so i want you to tell me if you agree with that statement because you know um i i for me i think science is also faith based because you know if we're going to speak about the big bang theory the moment i say uh this and this and that happened long time ago i, I believe something so it's it's faith there it's it's something that uh, happened but i believe it and i did not see yeah. it right <laughs> so so tell me about your thoughts about you know science not being faith based do you think that's true no so everyone believes in something and that's why um when they say you guys with false faith and beliefs and stuff you don't choose to see the truth um but at the end of the day if you went there and you didn't see it happen the only way you can believe it is through having faith in what you have been taught so just as oh. we have faith in our encounter with god and in what he yes. has done in our lives they have faith in what someone wrote years ago based on the experience mm. they had they putting their faith in um the education system because for them that seems more secure than putting their faith in god because of a lack of an encounter mm. yeah 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 so yeah that's mm. what i basically think about that And of course that is Nolene uh the show host of uh philosophically poetic right here on Active FM and so I'm going to give you a gem right now uh by Hill Song Young and Free saying to you alive and right after this song myself and Nolene will be talking more about rhymes of the universe and she actually has a surprise for us <laughs> so you <laughs> you want to make sure that you stick with us uh, so that you hear what's the surprise here's hill song young and free saying alive
Song Young and Free saying to Alive. You are still listening to Active FM, and this is the Void Show with me, myself, and I, Andrew Faladzi Wahahom. And of course, I'm not alone today in studio, but I'm with Nolene herself, the show host of uh, Philosophically Poetic. Yes. And if you have just scrolled to this point, you want to make sure that you go back to the beginning and hear the kind of atmosphere that we were speaking about today. Be part of this conversation by going to Facebook. Uh, the handle is at The Void Show with Andrew. Uh, Nolene, welcome back again to our Thank show. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, so before we went to you know this beautiful gem by Hillsong, uh, you 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 have a surprise for us apparently. Apparently, <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> um, Sh- should I should I just uh, give them a bit of a glimpse of what the surprise yes, is? Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, so um, Nolene is going to do a poem for us about the universe. <laughs> Well, well, you know, no, I, I'm I'm so excited because you know I've never actually had you doing a poem. I'm nervous because I've literally uh, just put some stuff together right now on the spot. <laughs> so I don't know how good it's gonna be. No, I mean, I mean, you are a radio presenter, by the way, so I, I don't think you need to prepare for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, now you're going to do it for us right now, right? Yes, I am. I am going to say okay. that this is an incomplete poem, so it's going to end sort of weird. But do not worry, because one day I will complete this poem. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, should we give you a drum rolls? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the drum rolls. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is how the poem goes. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong, I mean, Armstrong. I can hardly see what's in front of me in a void atmosphere, but I'm able to breathe. I've lost all sense of gravity, carelessly drifting away into eternity. Life's like a black hole drawing me in. Masks off, I can't breathe. Can anyone see? I mean, who created me? Dark and void, floating aimlessly. Let there be light. Oh no, not another creation story. Your words, they formed me, adorned my dress with jewelry, lifted me high for all to see. They spent decades trying to get to me. Let there be light. Obedience follows. I am formed. I am moved by your breath. Your existence is inside of me. They praise me. I thought through me they'd see. Universe. One verse. Your word and your fingerprints all over me. And that is it. Yo. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) So that's what you just created right now. (laughs) Wow. 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 (laughs) No, you know what I'm going to yes. do? So I'm going, you need to send me that poem written down and I'm going to post it on our page, on the Void Show page. I really no need problem. it. No problem, I'll do that. 
<laughs> wow, no, 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 that, that's, that's beautiful. That was, you, you are so creative. Thank you. <laughs> I hope they understood you know, what I'm, I was I'm... trying to say in it because like I jump around in my poetry. Wow. No, but it's, it's, yo, it's, it, um, I, I don't know, but it's good. It's really good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, there's a statement that says creative people are, are not productive. Do you know that? <laughs> they say what? Creative people are not yes. productive. <laughs> Definitely not. Why would they say such a horrible thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I thought you were going to say yes and I was going to think maybe you're saying you're not productive either. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, that was beautiful. Um, so, Nolin, um, there's only one point that we have not touched for today, right? Yes. And that's the politics of the universe. Yes. And I'm saying this because you are doing politics, right? Yes. So, I, I, I think that uh, as a politician, <laughs> uh, yes. there's... there's there's a certain view that you have about the universe. I mean, we have politics in, in, in astronomy. We, we do have politics. I mean, uh, we've got so many conflicts that are happening in uh, astronomy about a lot of things. So yeah. what's your political view about the universe? Wow. <laughs> I feel like this is like one of those hard quizzes where the questions like get harder and harder. So, wow, sure. My political view of yeah. the universe. Is there even a political um, view of the universe when you say it? For for me, I would say that what politics I see in the universe is basically the laws that govern the universe. So from that perspective, um, if you look at politics, politics runs on laws and governance. And God set in place laws that would govern the universe, such as gravity. So if we want to jump, we know that we're going down. But just the basic laws, air pressure and all of that stuff that govern the universe is basically what I would tie into politics. I don't know if you agree with me. Okay, um, honestly, so that meant that uh, just according to what you have said, I had the wrong view yes. of <laughs> politics, you know, <laughs> because uh, you know, when I hear the word politics, for me, I think of uh, maybe people who are debating, you know, not yeah. necessarily debating, but people who are, uh, what can I say, um, people who are just arguing, arguing. that's what... That's what yeah. I thought about politics. And clearly I had a wrong perception of it. Do you agree with that? <laughs> I would say so. You know, the first day you enter politics class, they tell you that you probably think this is going to be one of those sessions where we're fighting each other, <laughs> yelling at each other, uh, arguing about everything and anything to do with yeah. politics. But that's not what politics is about. Politics is basically understanding how to basically govern human relationships is the core of politics how to make sure that there's peace how to make sure there's stability how to make sure that humans are in the best state to thrive okay. in economics and social platform forms and everything that's basically the idea behind politics so it's basically the governance of human relations if we could put it that way um so when we all walk into politics we're like yes we're gonna fight and then we <laughs> get there and we're like no we're not fighting anymore <laughs> okay no no that that's brilliant then if if you said so then i think it's it's it, it, i would agree with you that definitely the political view of the universe is um you know uh the governing laws that uh that uh rule the universe is that okay Yes, yes, I, I, yes, I would say so because I was gonna say, oh, there's politics in in astronomy, of course, because you know, um, Pluto. There are still some people who do not want Pluto to be a dwarf planet, but who wants Pluto to be yeah. a planet. So there's politics there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, everywhere there's human arguments involved <laughs> over something. I mean, the first time I heard Pluto was not a planet anymore, I felt betrayed. Uh, no, t because that is all interesting. All my life, my my little <laughs> eager monkey jumped. <laughs> over nine planets and now it jumped over nine what <laughs> just nine <laughs> but, but uh, tell us about your feeling of uh, 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 like why did you feel like that way when pluto was just demoted uh because i think as kids we sort of like learned all of these um rhymes to try and remember 
what's going on with the planets. But also, I kind of always liked Pluto for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, but then yeah, there are so, there are people who are like deeply attached to to Pluto. Yeah. Eh? And I was like, but like Pluto, Pluto's the one. How can they vote Pluto off the island? I felt <laughs> like I was watching a reality show here and then Pluto was voted <laughs> off. Okay, no, no, that's, that's interesting. And, you know, um, you should go listen to the show that I did about Pluto. Why Pluto was demoted to being a planet. Definitely, I will do that. To, be, uh, to, to being a, a, a dwarf planet. I did a show about that. Oh, okay, <laughs> awesome. I'll definitely listen to that. I think it will put my heart at ease. Oh, uh, uh, you see? You see? <laughs> <laughs> okay okay nolene um thank you so much for being with us on the void show right no problem thank you for having me again yes um um so um tell us more about your show i mean i know that you once did uh, uh rhymes and poetry and now you're doing philosophically poetic which you have not yet given justice to because i i i, I think we don't know why you did that <laughs> And you since have promised to give justice to that. Okay, and I will I don't do think that. you have done that. <laughs> okay, so um, the jump from rhymes and poetry to philosophically poetic uh, was basically because I felt like there was a conversation that needed to be had. Um, all my life, I not all my life because I haven't been in philosophy class all my life, but throughout yeah. my university um, career, I've been sitting in class and like they just putting out all of these ideas of um, God and morals and this and that. And there hasn't yeah. been a Christian perspective. And even when we have Christian um, Christian philosophers like Rene Descartes, and he comes oh. across with the with a the Christian perspective, they shoot yeah. him down. Literally, the way they teach his work, it's like what he was mm. saying does not even make sense. And I yeah, just felt like yeah. there's a conversation that needs to be had in terms of philosophy and actually mm. breaking down what God thinks about philosophy because many of the philosophers think like they the elite smart who don't need to believe in God, but God yeah. has something to say about everything. So as much as I loved talking about rap and about poetry, I felt like the conversation needed to be had with philosophy. Wow, that's interesting. So you felt like there's some sort of a bias inside the, the, the philosophical world. And Definitely. Wow, that, 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 that really is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us more about uh, what, what kind of show did you have this week? <laughs> Um, so well, I know you were speaking show, about something that's very interesting. <laughs> yes. So last week's show, uh, we're speaking about we evolved from bananas. <laughs> yes. Um, you have to listen to that show to, to find out why I say we did that. But this week's show, I'm basically going to be speaking about, um, a famous, uh, politician, actually, Karl Marx wow. and his ideas on theology. So I'm basically mm. going to be breaking down what Karl Marx actually thought about God and theology, which is very going to be, it's going to be very, very interesting. And I have a guest as well. So that's going to be very, very, very wow. interesting. That, that, that is, uh, you know, that's, that's amazing. And I cannot wait to, to listen to that. But, uh, you know, the thing of evolving to bananas, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> They said, okay, it, the same thing was said about, uh, you know, apes, right? Yes. That we have a similar DNA with apes. Yes. But now the question that I ask myself, they say like we have, the only difference is like uh, a few percentages. Yeah. But if, if that's true, then when, when did we, did we even have like a decent uh, 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 compelling communication with apes? That hasn't happened. No, it hasn't. Okay, I will tell you why. You guys are getting yeah. a special sneak peek into my previous show last week, but they still need to listen to it. But the reason why I said we evolved from bananas is because um, the the whole thing that we evolved from apes is because we have, um, if I'm, I stand to be corrected, I think 96 or 97 percent, we are, um, our DNA is the same as apes. Um, and that is why they said that we evolved from apes because our DNA is so close. But if yes. you look at the DNA of a banana, us, our DNA and the DNA of a banana, we are so close, 98% similarity between <laughs> us and a banana. So in the show, I was basically speaking about the fact that if we're going to look at DNA and say that we evolved from apes, then we might as well say that we also evolved from a banana and that right? the banana is our second cousin <laughs> because then if that's what we're looking for, then... 
obviously maybe, there'll maybe, be maybe, something maybe, wrong. maybe that's why apes eat bananas <laughs> definitely <laughs> they're taking all our dna from the bananas that's why they have so much of our dna yeah yeah right <laughs> <laughs> okay no 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 nolin uh thank you so much for joining us on the void show um you know even though we struggled with network a little bit but i'm hoping that next time uh we things will be better but i really am hoping to have you next time on the void show definitely definitely de- it's a must it's on my to do list <laughs> definitely right definitely i i i really am so keen <laughs> 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 and of course that was a nolin um a philosophically poetic host you want to make sure that you go listen to that and so right after this i am closing live right here on active fm we bring to you the active worship inception album the joy of the lord is my strength album on Spotify and Apple iTunes. If you're interested in downloading the album, well, contact us for more info. And apparently we have reached the end of the void show and I had a guest today um is Nolin from Philosophically Poetic. Um you can be part of our conversation. Uh, our handle is at the void show with Andrew and we are on Facebook. And if you want a safe platform to get all the shows that we have on Active FM Uh, it's www.activefm.co.za we are there on spotify please follow us so that you do not miss any episode we are there on tiktok we are there on youtube we are there on google podcast we are there on apple's podcast and um our handle for instagram it's activefm777 twitter is at activefm facebook thought slash active fm thank you so much for tuning in and so we're going to be having more of these topics next week we also have a crazy topic so you want to make sure that you do not miss that so from me myself and i i will see you next time same place active fm radio has never been better